when you've turned the unit on using the power button, you have the home screen that tells you which radar mode you're in. It tells you how full your data is. It tells you how charged your battery is. It tells you your average speed since the last time the unit's been turned on. And it tells you the time of day. If I press the setting button, my first setting is the mode. I can have radar on always, so it'll always display speeds. I can have a speed limit sign displaying a single speed. I can go into demo mode just to have a display. And then I can put the radar on timer so that I can have the unit on only during two specific time periods during the day. This is a power saving function. So I'm going to leave it on radar on always. My next setting is my posted speed limit that I just set using the arrow keys to the speed limit for my zone. My next setting is the maximum speed displayed, which I set to a reasonable speed so that people will not race the sign. If somebody goes by this sign above 40 miles an hour, the display will simply blank out. Next, I set my display trigger, and I can set this to no vehicles. I can set it to speed limit. I can set it to a specific trigger speed. I would hit setting again, and I can actually change the speed at which my display will come on. I next set my strobe trigger, and I can set that to no vehicles, speed limit, trigger speed, or all vehicles. Same with the relay trigger, if I have the relay option. I can set my output display to either constant or blinking. Blinking would be a power saving mode. I can set my current date and time. I can disable or enable my data logging. I can clear the data memory from here. I can output my speed to an inst alert or a speed eye or to none depending on the options that I have with my speed sentry. And I can also set my radar sensitivity ranging from one which is near to seven which is far. And then I'm back to the mode for the radar.